classical music you know from tradition. And um, when you play a piece, everybody knows. Then the question is, what is my style? What is my, uh, my technique to read and to understand this piece and to make my interpretation different from other interpretations? Here in the contemporary music, first of all, you have to decipher the text by reading. Uh, very often there is no tradition. You have to learn the text by reading, by analyzing. And uh, for me it's the same. I have to analyze the scores and then I know what, has, what belongs together. What, has, what can I imagine will sound and uh, for what I will be prepared to change and what I have to change. Because uh, even in the scores, the notation is very precisely. Uh, it doesn't work um, if people are only playing what is written. If you have a chord which is piano, then it may be that the trumpet has to be pianissimo, the flute has to be mezzo forte. In the end, the whole chord is then piano, but you have uh, to act like a mixing desk. As a conductor, I feel sometimes like a mixing desk to make a very uh, smooth balancing of the sounds, and on the other hand, to get the speed and the, 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 um, um, the direction of the piece. Well, we have three completely different pieces and every piece has completely different tasks. Uh, the Popov piece is a piece from the early 20s. Uh, it's from the futuristic phase uh, of the um, Russian Expressionism. And um, it's a little bit like a crazy Shostakovich. And it's a very grotesque piece. And, um, it's written like a classical piece, but it has to play it in a very exaggerated way. Otherwise, it's very mm, banal. We have to find a way to play this pop-off piece in a very grotesque and caricat uh, caricature way, way, because it's um, rather banal if you play it in a simple, tra traditional way. And the Louis de Pablo piece, it's like a small requiem. It's very calm and uh, it's, uh, the, the subject is uh, the death and the aftermath, etc. And so we have to find the right atmosphere for the piece, the right mood where, where we have to play it in. And uh, Elliot Carter is technically extremely difficult because um, he calls his technique metric modulation. That means different speeds in the same time have to be synchronized. The title of the piece is Triple Duo. You have three groups, three duos, and every duo is playing in another speed. Quintuplets, sixtuplets, quadruplets. Uh, and so in, uh, they, they have to, f to find their own way to stay together. There's often in the end one chord where everybody has to meet. And so the people can judge that it is right, but in between everything is quasi chaotic for the musicians. It's really complicated to learn their parts playing in their own speed and not to be disturbed by the others. And that was the problem we had today and yesterday, that uh, they can play it for themselves very good, but when the others come to, come to them, it's completely uh, disturbing and confusing in the first time. And uh, I told them today it's a kind of conducted chamber music and all the musicians usually have to know what, what the other musicians are playing too. Everybody has to know the context, then he knows his own function in the context. If he does not know the context, he is confused, he makes much more mistakes. So uh, ensemble music is a kind of um, um, chamber music with a conductor. The conductor is a mediator, the conductor is only a medium who um, makes a coordination, but the, the understanding of the pieces comes from the musicians in the group. I did the pieces rather often in the last years, and uh, for me it's nothing new. Uh, but it's interesting to do the pieces with different groups. Here, with this group, the pieces sound quite different. And uh, so it's uh, the same piece, but you have always to find a new way uh, to um, make the pieces sound special according to the 
uh, musicians you have here, because the musicians have a different style, a different sound, different instruments as the others you know already. And so uh, you have to take care about what, what you find here and what can I do with the material I find here. What are the sounds of the instruments, the sounds, how do the players play? Um, and uh, so in this way, the pieces for me are always new. <laughs>